Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadhadiya and today I am going to tell you how to write maths board exam paper. I am going to give you some tips and tricks that will help you to score more. So one by one I had made many points that we are going to discuss and you will come to know that what we need to do. So let us start. Point number one, use your first 15 minutes of reading the question paper properly and mark the questions you know properly. Yes, in board examination, they will give you your question paper before 15 minutes at sharp 10.15 to read. So, in that 15 minute reading, you need to uh, under or tick mark the question which you know properly and use your time wisely that 15 minute Please use your that 15 minute wisely and underline or tick mark whatever you know and whatever you are having half you know or when you are having doubt in some question. So you have to mark according to that. Okay, moving towards the next point now. Always start your paper with section D. Why we need to do so? Let me tell you. I had seen student wasting their time in section A. Means MCQs. They are wasting their time in MCQs. And at last what happens, they waste a lot of time in section A and at last in section D they are not getting proper time and they have to leave 4 to 5 or 3 to 4 questions. So instead of that you can start from section D. First of all you need to complete that. Then go for section C because more marks are there in this. So use your time means first of all section D, then section C, then B and at last go for A. Because I had seen many times in board examination also many difficult MCQs are there and students are wasting their time in this and they are not getting time in section D answer. So because the, it carries four mark, it carries only one mark. So use your time wisely in solving section D first, then C, then B and then A. Then first of all write all the questions which you know properly. Yes, first of all write the questions that you know properly means if you know section C few questions and that you need to write down then go for section C then B then A and leave space for questions you don't know yes this is the most important part I had seen students are not leaving space and at last when they are having time they think and they mm, they know that question and they try to write down but where at the last don't do that in board examination you have to complete whole section together Means if you had started section D, you need to complete that section D. Then and only then you go for section C. So what you can do, you can leave space for that part, for that question. So afterward, when you are having time, you can solve that. Okay, please leave space for that question. Don't go for next directly from there only. Moving towards the next one. Give proper numbers to the question. First complete whole section, then start the next section. Yes, giving proper number. I had seen what happens. Students are not giving properly the numbers to the question. Whatever you are writing, if you are writing 34th question, write down answer number 34. I had seen many students are not writing number only. Yes, there are, you will get that type of students also. Please don't do that. Proper number should be given to them. Then you can write down the other answer and if you are means if you are writing first of all 34 then 34 then you know you don't know 33 so then leave space for 33 then 32 like that whatever you like but give proper number to the answers try to solve all the questions means if you know some part of any sum some part means if you know only two three steps only then please write down that two three steps also okay and then you should solve that sum add up to that part means whatever you know that much you can solve okay means you have to attempt all the questions if you know a single step also of any question please write down don't leave that because you can get half mark for that also if if they can give so always try to attempt all the question whatever you know if you know only one step also please write down and at last always highlight your answer yes means you can do box you can do means round or you can mark something at the answer so that what happened the paper checking person 
can understand this is your final answer and they directly sometimes give you the marks for that without seeing the method also so please try to do that and if you like this video please do three favor like share subscribe thank you so much for watching my video and best of luck for your board examination guys thank you so much